know, as you may have seen, I do a fair amount of snow removal videos. Uh, some people ask me, how difficult is it to change front attachments on the 1025R? So we've got the 54 blade on right now. Uh, a question I get is, you know, how, how long does it take you to switch over to the snow blower or the, the front broom? So I'm going to show you the process. The process for the uh, going from the blade to the broom or the blower is the same. Uh, today I'm going to show you the broom because we don't get that out often. I thought just we need to uh, show that off a little. So on the front of the blade here, the only thing we got to do is take these pins and pull them out. Put them in this little position here on both sides. Now the blade is able to come off. Uh, so I'm just going to, you can just drop it. Uh, like lower the hitch and the hitch will disconnect. I don't have the tractor running um, So just out of uh, Expediency, I'm just gonna pull the blade, you know lift it with one arm Drop it right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive the tractor over And uh, here's the front broom um, We're gonna put it on next I am going to put this little uh, bungee cord here to hold the PTO shaft up. And that's so when I drive the quick hitch into it that uh, it just makes the process a little quicker. All right. So as we're driving up, we're going to lower that quick hitch down. We're going to just pay attention to where it needs to go. Drive slowly. We're going to check both sides. I seem to be, even though I tried not to, I seem to be hitting on the PTO shaft. Let's go adjust it real quick. So here's what went wrong. just need for the PTO shaft to be above the hitch. We're just going to finish driving in and lift it up. So on this side, let's check the other side. Good over here too. There we go back it out. So the next thing is we just need to attach the PTO shaft. I'm going to remove that little rubber bungee that I put in here. Just pull that out of the way. And then we're going to slide on the front PTO shaft. Clicked into place. Um, the only other thing is I'm going to remove these parking stands. That's it. Now this particular shot here, this doesn't do the broom justice. The snow that's on the driveway is packed down pretty hard. If it were not packed down, it would have removed it all.
I'll show you in a second here on the walking trail that you see me plowing all the time uh, what this thing can do when there is no hard packed snow. Watch how clear the path is under the tractor as I pass. Now this right here, the snow is a little bit deeper than is ideal for the broom. So uh, I'm going to go forward here, uh, we'll turn the tractor around and do it a second time and I'll show you what kind of results you get. you see me out here back on these trails, I'm really just doing it because I enjoy it. I'm not paid to do this. It's not my property. Um, this is really just, at this point, this is behind my house. I do have neighbors thank me for clearing this because it does make it a lot nicer to walk on after a snow. And I enjoy doing it. And it's good for making videos. Again, this is a spot that's a little deeper than what you'd want to use the broom on, typically.